A Milwaukee man is charged with assaulting a firefighter who was at his home to put out a fire. It happened Thanksgiving night at 25th and Mitchell. As 12 News Nick Bohr reports, the suspect is also accused of punching a battalion chief and a captain who tried to intervene. As if firefighters don't face enough risk fighting fires, a fire victim is now accused of fighting the firefighters. Our firefighters are, are well equipped and well trained to try to calm people down in these moments. Despite that, Milwaukee Fire Chief Aaron Lipsky says his firefighters Thanksgiving night were assaulted by a man who wanted to go back inside his burning house at 25th and Mitchell. We understand this is horrible. We're there because it's horrible. When it trips over into violence, you'll find far less concern for how somebody else is feeling when they're attacking my firefighters because there's no cause for it. Prosecutors charged 29-year-old Charles Wynn with punching a firefighter in the back and face. But Lipsky says a captain and a battalion chief were also punched when they tried to intervene. Even after punching the firefighters, according to the criminal complaint, Wynn went inside the house while firefighters were still actively fighting the fire. It's crystal clear at the point that this all happens on this fire scene that we're busy working extinguishing the fire. Prosecutors say Wynn, quote, continued to ignore commands to leave the house and was actively getting in the way. It's then Milwaukee police arrested him. Chief Lipsky says the firefighters are all veterans and weren't seriously hurt. They've had a lot of experience with a lot of the variety that comes with how people behave in these situations. They're fine. I think I'm not fine about this. In Milwaukee, Nick Ford, WISN 12 News. Wynn remains in jail, charged with one count of battery to a firefighter. The charge is a felony that carries a maximum penalty of six years in prison.